Hello, how are you doing today? In this episode of Power Wash Simulator SpongeBob Special, we will be cleaning the crusty crab. So let's get started right away. Ready? Let's begin. First, look at this place. It's so dirty. Let's take a quick tour of the Krusty Krab. First off, we have the sign here that says Krusty Krab. We can't even read it. Look at this. This is the enter sign, I believe. We won't know until we get some cleaning done. Going behind the Krusty Krab, and here's the dumpster. What does it say? Dogfish loves catfish. Camp coral for life. Starfish rule. Who wrote that? And barnacle head. And a squirrel nut. Sleeping. Hmm. I wonder who they could be mentioning here. Hey, that's Squidward. But this dumpster is also dirty, I mean, I know dumpsters are supposed to be dirty, but that's really dirty. Oh, what else do we have here? Fred was here. Was he? Who's that? And Nolimatoes are people, too. And then we have a dolphin for potty mouth. And then, and some Squidward tentacles. And, oh no, crab smells. Crab smells. Ooh. I didn't know you could smell underwater, but apparently you can. And look at this exit door. Oh, Ooh, so hideous. So hideous. So we're just circling the Krusty Krab. And what's across the street from the Krusty Krab? It's the Chum Bucket. The rival Chum Bucket. And I believe Spongebob lives down there. I wonder if we keep walking if we'll get there. And what do we have on the left? Jellyfish field? I don't know. So, shall we begin? First of all, first of all, I just want to start by changing the nozzle to the smaller nozzle. And I just want to try again that we will be doing this in no other than very good at this, but I'm hoping that we be better than my last work. S. M. So today's episode will be cleaning the Krusty Krab in ASMR. Ready? Let's start with the front. Look, even the floors are dirty. Now, I also just want to say that this is my first video in soft-spoken style. I hope you like it. I usually whisper in my other videos, but this is the first soft-spoken one. Let's change the angle, and it does say enter. 
Now the Krusty Krab is the most famous place for its burgers, known as the Krabby Patty, as you all know. And this job can be quite a complicated job. We're used to seeing the Krusty Krab in 2D, but today it's going to be 3D. Let's finish with this enter sign, and it's all clean. Let's admire our enter sign first. Okay. Now the sign. I think we'll get to the sign later. And look at this place. Shall we begin with this place? Look at this. Well, how will we get in if the door's so dirty? Oh, Mr. Krabs, you really needed to have cleaned this place up. I wonder what happened. Are you ready? Look at that. Ah, oh, it's so satisfying. Do you think so? Mr. Krabs, well, I'm glad he will be paying us to be cleaning his shop. You can't have such a fine food establishment being this dirty now, can you? Now, I recently watched the first episode of Spongebob again. I don't know how many times I've seen it. Probably a few times throughout the years. It was about Spongebob being excited for his first day at the Krusty Krab. Oh, the door's cleaned. How nice. Oh, the second door's clean. But Spongebob first saw a help wanted sign. And he got really excited because, well, No one is dedicated as Spongebob with wanting to be a fry cook at the best restaurant ever, right? Then Spongebob went off to try to get his job at the Krusty Krab. And he was happy that his neighbor, Squidward Tentacles, was there. And he asked Squidward, can you put in a good word for me? Door frame cleaned. And Squidward said, No. <laughs> he did not want to work with Spongebob. Then Mr. Krabs took Squidward's word for it. And they both tried to not hire Spongebob. Do you remember what happened next? Mr. Krabs sent Spongebob on a nearly impossible mission. The mission was to find a spatula as a test. And it wasn't just any spatula. It was... What was it called? Something very complicated. A hydrodynamic spatula with dual starboards with turbo drive. He said, bring that back to me. Ooh, window cleaned. And maybe he'll be hired. And they thought that they would never see Spongebob again. Spongebob went to the bargain mart where you can have all of your spatula needs fulfilled there. Oh, this is so nice. So, that's where Spongebob went. Okay, let's clean up this part. Look at all these flags. I'm, I'm 
definitely used to seeing this in 3D. I mean, 2D. You can really appreciate the details of the Krusty Krab. But anyways, off to the bargain mart, Spongebob went. And then, Mr. Krabs and Squidward thought that they would not be seeing Spongebob any longer. Let's get the longer one. Oh, it reaches nice. Then, Mr. Krabs started to smell something. First, he heard door hinges. Many buses arrived. And the Krusty Krab. I mean, why wouldn't they? It's a fine eating establishment of Bikini Bottom, right? Then he said, I smell a smelly smell, a smell that smells smelly. He's hilarious. And do you remember what that smell was? Anchovies. Many, many. Well, this place is looking nice already. Very nice. I heard this is a difficult level though. You have a lot of ankles. We have to go underneath the ropes, get the flags. A lot of work. But the crust of crab needs to be cleaned and I'm glad Mr. Crab's up for it. But how did it get this dirty? Oh, Mr. Krabs. I mean, we know that he's known for being cheap, but well, this happened overnight or what? Let's get the flag underneath that. Each time we move, the ankle exposes more and more dirt and grime. Well, I feel that there's no end. But yes, all the anchovies arrived, and there were a lot of anchovies. Ooh, you can get them from this angle here. So many, many, many anchovies arrived, and they stormed into the restaurant. And was it scary for Mr. Krabs and Squidward? who were the only workers who were extremely unprepared for such an event that happened. So many anchovies came in. A single file line is all that I ask. That's what Squidward was crying to them about. They did not form a single file line on his request, however. I think they say meep. Meep. Look at this, so pretty. Above. Such a beautiful day to be power washing the crusty crab. We'll get what we can, where we can, and then we'll come back after. Are you enjoying this? I find this so satisfying. I feel that if I could, I would do this all day. This is so detailed how they made it. So many angles to get. Okay. So now that we have this nozzle, let me just get these areas while we're here. I change the angle. Nozzle. Places. 
So that button just exposed the dirt, which glows to try to help us. However, it's not perfect because we have to get all of the areas. Let's clean this window. It looks like we're almost done, but we definitely are not. You can see the meter that we're only a few percent done. The, de the crusty crab definitely needs cleaning. The customers definitely cannot be eating when it looks that dirty. Now can they? Alright. Looks so much better. So satisfying. Then Mr. Crab and Squidward were crying. They definitely were crying a lot. Because they didn't know what to do. Of course they weren't thinking about Spongebob. Because, you know, Spongebob doesn't work there yet. So. What happened next? With all the anchovies. Do you remember? Ooh, there's even a reflection on this glass, so detailed. We don't get to appreciate, ooh, window cleaned, all the structures when we watch the show. But here, we can go through every angle and appreciate all these minor details or great details that we might have missed throughout the years. This. We can even sit here. Have you ever thought of that? I know I haven't until now. Wow. Looks good. Wow, okay. Even the floor is super dirty. Wanna see what we've done so far? Let's take a few steps back. Looking better. Definitely looking better. Are we done? No, no way. But I'm happy with what we've done so far. Now let me extend the nozzle so we can get these harder to reach areas up there for now while we're here. I love that ding sound. really good. Looking better. Let's change the angle here. Go up and down. While we're here. At it. Mr. Krabs, how often do you clean your place? I know he's cheap. Remember the episode where he recycled soap? However, I, I did hear that some hotels do that, but I don't really know. I haven't Truly looked it up for me to say yet. Alright. It looks done. Like Hollywood done in the front. But hey, no cheating. We're going to clean every angle, every bit, all the dirt, and the crusty crap. Okay, should we clean the floors next? My favorite one, my favorite nozzle is the yellow one. I just feel that it has the right amount of power and width to it. So let's do that. This game is technically meant for the PC, but I just find that using a controller feels so nice. Right. 
In the previous episodes, we cleaned SpongeBob's pineapple, including his bubble stand and the imagination box, and also his reef flower. And in that same episode, his house is on Con Street, by the way. In that same episode, we also cleaned Squidward's house and Patrick's house. That was a pretty satisfying episode. Well, the dirt really extends here. In the other episodes, we cleaned their sidewalks, but the whole area isn't dirty. Just some areas here that we'll get to. Oh, this feels so good. Do you find it satisfying? I know I do. I wonder if this is how real power washers feel when they clean. They must feel that way, right? I don't know any. Can't ask. However, have you ever tried in and out it's not available everywhere, in and out Burger. It's not like McDonald's, but it's still a fast food joint. But every time they describe the Krusty Krabs, Krabby Patty, and show a picture of it, it kind of reminds me of in and outs Burger. So, I knew that I would be craving it before doing this episode. I actually had one like an hour ago. It was so good. I don't know how I would be able to do this episode without eating that first. But it did hit the spot for sure. It's just um, a fast food burger, but something about it. It feels just right. You should get, you should definitely give it a chance and try it out. If you ever have the opportunity to. I didn't like it so much as a kid. Maybe because I wanted like a Happy Meal from McDonald's, but as I'm a little older, yeah, it's just, it's just so fresh all the time. But, all right, almost done with the sidewalk. At least the front. We still have the sides. And the bath. So, just take it easy. And we'll definitely get there. Okay. It's starting to look very pretty to me. I can just feel it. Look at the colors of... Oh, we're stepping on the ladder. This game is detail for sure. Alright. While we're here. We'll just get a little more of the grime on the floor. This would be unacceptable to eat here. It is the finest establishment of a bikini bottom. It needs to be cleaned. So I'm glad that we're here today to do that. Gotta collect this grime here. sides a little bit while we're here and we'll definitely get closer soon. Let's see how good we're doing this not bad. It's a lot of areas. It's a big restaurant. Alright. Alright. Much nicer. Much more satisfying. A little more of the pavement. Okay. And let's look up. Oh my gosh. Look how dirty this is. This is the side of the Krusty Krab. Oh gosh. Let's look at the front. Pretty. I can see a little bit of gunk there. Let's get it while we can and change the angle for that. Can 
Can we clean more of the little roof plank cleaned? So we are cleaning behind the rope and the flax. Seems that the rope was still dirty, but we might need a ladder to get to that angle. Let's clean it from this side. This exposed the dirt. Let's see some there. A little more on top, well, if we can reach it. Let's see, what else can we clean from this angle here? Should we start on the side? Oh, kind of want to get the floor while we're here. Where do the boatmobiles park? Spongebob doesn't have his license yet. Well, I mean, he did for a very short time in an episode. Mrs. Puff intervened, remember? SpongeBob got his license because she gave him extra credit. Which I mean, could work, but I don't know how much it should work. SpongeBob's parents got him a brand new boatmobile. And it got into Mrs. Puff's conscious. Then she tried to steal the boatmobile. And there was an accident and... Spongebob had to give back his license, unfortunately. So he did have it for a short amount of time. Didn't earn it though. In, a, in another episode, Patrick gave him all the answers underneath his hat. Which is pretty funny. Oh, some on the side here. Okay. Yeah, so I guess we're still working on that boating license. Does Spongebob ever get it? I don't know. Not that I know of. Okay, we'll get to that area. Let's go up here. Nice. This is so pretty. I love how the colors become so vibrant. Once we clean up more at least. This area here. All right. This looks so good. This is such a nice game. Do you think so? So. Yes. So going back to the very first Krusty Krab episode of Spongebob Squarepants. Mr. Krabs and Squidward were swimming in a sea of anchovies. Mr. Krab was literally crying for his mommy. He said, I want my mommy, Mr. Squidward. They thought it was the end. Then what do you know? Spongebob comes flying in with his spatula. Ooh, sidewall plank clean. Nice. And he said, Can you believe they only had one in the stock? He found it. The hydrodynamic spatula with dual star ports or something with turbo drive. And it was with that spatula that Mr. Krabs thought he made up. 
and then Spongebob started making like a million Krabby Patties, like a natural. And he fed all the anchovies one by one, like a million to one, but one by one he did it. He really did it. Let's go behind the rope. How much we're getting? Wow. So detailed. Mr. Krause was definitely impressed. And Mr. Krause was definitely impressed. And so Spongebob was practically hired on the spot immediately because of that performance. Isn't that amazing? He's that good. He's that good. Rope cleaned, or part of it. Look how beautiful this window is getting. Well, window has been cleaned. Take a step back and see our progress here. So there's some of the top. Let's see if we can reach with our nozzle, our long nozzle. Are you reaching? I think we are. Where else am I missing? Let's change the angle like that. Up here, I can see it. It's a little hard to see because the Krusty Krab is a brown color and this is a dark green, so you can almost camouflage in, but it's okay. There's a song that was playing when SpongeBob was making those Krabby Patties. It's a really interesting song. Kind of folk sounding. I can't sing it back, but it's in my head right now. Something having a wonderful time. And he really was. He really was. I don't think most people are as happy as SpongeBob. It really makes it worth it, huh? Okay, let's see what we're missing. So, some areas up there. So, there's like Oh, more dirt in the cracks. This game is really detailed. Okay, sidewalk playing has been cleaned. We'll get to that sign in the corner in a bit. Do we get the rest here? Oh, I see a little bit. And here. Alright. I think I want to go for that dumpster. Look at this. Barnacle head, dogfish, catfish. Okay, ready? Let's get this dumpster all cleaned. Woo! I know it's supposed to be dirty, but not this dirty. How about the wheels? Oh yeah, they do get a little clean. Let's crouch down a little. Clean the wheel. Ooh, dumpster wheel clean. That's one wheel. Let's get the wheels clean first. Since we're here. Okay, other side of the wheel. Ooh, wheel two cleaned. Now we're on wheel number three. Fun. I didn't notice that earlier. And ravioli. What reference is that? Okay, wheel four. Okay. And let's get this side all cleaned up. Mr. Squidward. Nematodes are people too. Ugh, kind of scary about the nematodes, but anyway. 
Yeah, his brother was hired right away and he began his career, his forever career at the Krusty Krab. What a beautiful story. Okay, let's stand up. Get these areas here. Okay, the top of the dumpster now. Oh, that's looking better. We can see the color. Ooh, the dumpster lid has been cleaned. Okay, and we should clean the floor while we're at it. At least this area here. Oh, look at all the growth, the microbial growth. Skip this area so we can step in a clean spot. Okay. Mr. Crab smells. Does he? I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, let's change our angle. Clean it like that. Yeah, that's nice. Let's get that. Rusty crab has been reasonably clean, but definitely is not done at all. Okay, a little more of the sidewalk done. What is this? Written with dirt? Okay, I'll help you, Mr. Krabs. Crab smells. Now no one has to know but us. how strong our power washer is. Looks like it's very strong. I cleaned my car today. And I felt like this. Not as satisfying that I didn't have this power washer. Okay. Any other sidewalk area? Yeah, let's clean. Let's do the sidewalk of the back first. While we're at it, almost there. Just a little more. Oh, driveway, backyard. I don't know. The ground. The dirty ground. I mean, the grounds are already dirty. But this needs to be clean because it is the crusty crab after all, right? really nice. And after this, we'll be cleaning the chum bucket. Plankton's chum bucket. Aggressive little plankton. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. I wonder what the next episode will be. We won't know until we're finished with cleaning the crusty crab. All right, let me clean this part a little. And then we'll get the inside of the dumpster since we haven't finished with that yet. Okay, that looks good. I'm loving this. Okay. A little bit here while we're at it. This is the base of the crusty crab. Learning a lot of names here. Okay, so ASMR, that's exactly what we're doing. And can I climb in? Oh, we have the outside of the dumpster right then. Let's get this done first. Okay. Squid like an ancient looking drawing of Squidward. Spongebob is definitely a classic though. I mean, I don't know about the 10,000 year classic, but nonetheless a classic. Okay, how about the back? Yeah, we're not done. We can't leave yet. Can't go to another area just yet. Dogfish loves catfish. Have you ever seen the show? Um, Cat Dog. 
you could show was about this cat and this dog that were one, so they had to get along and they were different. I don't remember too much about it. I remember they also had like, it was like Cheez-Its in the shape of cat and dog, but I enjoyed those. Already here. Okay. And the side. We can get the side fun. Yes, this is fun. Ravioli, ravioli. I don't know that reference. And here's the triangle and the square. I think I remember them drawing that. I need to rewatch the SpongeBob. Outer dumpster is cleaned. Dumpster lid rim cleaned. It looks dirty some from some angles, but it's not. Can I pick this up? Place it there. And we can climb up. Oh, it's dirty. Oh, wow. Cleaning a trash bin. I mean, it's necessary, yes, we do have to clean that. But well, that is a giant jar of mayonnaise. Hold the mayonnaise. Tell me about the show, it's just hilarious. It's genius, actually. It really is. Okay, so we might need to go dumpster diving. Without diving for anything, we just want to clean it. Can I? Yes. Nice angle. All right. No extension here. Let's continue. Ooh. I'm gonna run with the rims of this dumpster room clean. Get this done here. We're done out here. In our dumpster is where we're at. It's better if I change the angle. I get all of it. All we can. Oh, I'm gonna surf. Mayonnaise is definitely in the way, but I don't think it'll be a problem. Okay. How do we get all the way around? We walk around here. We can aim better here. Yeah, it's a lot more to get. And if we change the nozzle. I am determined to finish up the spot. Inner dumpster is clean. The mayo is not done. Mm, I am so determined to finish the mayo. Oh, I can see the areas. It's the bottom of the mayo. Walking around the rim of the mayonnaise. <gasps> mayonnaise is clean. Okay, cool. Can jump off. Ooh. All right. How about the back of the crusty crab? What do you think? Let's go. Yeah. We'll change the nozzle and we're done with the bottom bar. Everything is calculated in this game beautifully. It's such a beautiful day. So pretty, super beautiful. 
bikini bottom homes where their customers must be from okay focus focus let's continue What else? I saw an episode with Bubble Bass. Do you remember that episode? Well, I'm sure you've seen most of the episodes because it's well, SpongeBob. But as a reminder, SpongeBob was more into his fried cooking very good at what he did. Then one day, Bubble Bass came and he ordered something very complicated. Not just a Krabby Patty, but something deluxe with animal fries, which in and out has, by the way, it has animal fries. So Bubble Bath ordered something really complicated and Spongebob said got it and delivered it immediately. Nail has been cleaned. Then Bubble Bath said everything is good except for one thing. Do you remember what was wrong? It's also the name of the episode. We miss some here. I'm sure there's more around here. Yeah. There's more around this porthole frame. Ooh, clean. So nice. So everything is good except rear poor hole clean. You forgot the pickles. Shocking. Rear door has been cleaned. Sponge open the view. He's like, it's right here. It's right here. And bubble bass have his laugh. This evil kind of laugh. Oh, oh wow. It's different. You think it's clean and then you change the corner. You turn the corner and you find a lot. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so I forgot the pickles. And Spider-Bob went into a downward spiral. He forgot how to do everything. He didn't come to work anymore, he forgot how to make a Krabby Patty. He, he was thinking too much. He was unable to make it. He put bun, mustard, bun, or Spongebob. It was wrong, all wrong. So he had to leave work for some time, take some time off for himself. Because he was unable to work. He was psychologically down. Mentally, it didn't work, and that does happen to some people when, you know, they're focused on different things mentally, and they forget. The roof plank has been cleaned. So naturally, the crusty crab was run again. Now clean. By Patrick, not Patrick, Squidward, and Mr. Krabs. I don't think it was doing too well. It was like before Spongebob was hired again. I don't think Squidward's that great of a fry cook. Can we reach this area? Kind of. It's hard to see. We 
can reach the top a little there. Ooh, nice. It's very hard to see, right? So then, yeah, the squid was just burning the food. I don't think he's fry cook material. And Mr. Krabs had to go to SpongeBob's house to see how he was doing. Which he should, right? See how he's doing because he was it really bothered him that he forgot how to do his own thing, which he was normally so good at. So natural at. Like you saw in the first episode. Mr. Crab arrived. His house was not literally upside down, but figuratively upside down. There was a toaster hanging like a wreath out outside his front door. I mean, that's concerning, right? Because well, can't do that. It's dangerous, too. Should we do next? Do we get the other side? We're missing. That side looks pretty good overall. Can we reach that area a little bit? Ooh, side plane clear. Okay, we can do quite a bit. I'm down here. Oh, that's done. Oh, that's done. Done, okay. I saw some here. Ground here. On top. The other side of the store is a little dirty. extension for now. Just forward below and down here. All right. Look at all that. And go back again. And down here. Woohoo. Floor has been all clean. I think it's all clean. Just gotta get closer. Whoa. Look at all these details that we cannot appreciate without being up close. Okay, how about the sides here? Let's go up. Whoa. I hope you're enjoying this because I know I am. I would take my time more, but I don't have the computer memory, honestly, for super long videos. But I'll try my best. Wow. Doesn't that look good? I'm almost done with the The main part of the Krusty Krab. We just mainly have a little jellyfish. Have the roof left. And the sign. Probably the little specks that we'll need to find. But I think so far so good, right? 
getting better at finding things. So the Crusty Crab is a lot, definitely a lot more thorough compared to Spongebob's Pineapple, Squidward's Statue Home, and Patrick's Rock. As it should be though, this is the Crusty Crab sidewalk plank clean. Two more of those to go in a window. Let's clean it over here. Gotta get in between the cracks. And here, behind the rope. Wow. So detailed. Find the rope there. You can see very clearly though, no need for the germ finder. But so we use it every now and then just to make sure. It's nice that we have that. They kind of have that in real life too. If you ever use like the UV rays. UV light, I mean, to find like dog pee or cat pee. It's traumatizing. It's really traumatizing to use those. You just see everything. It become like a germaphobe for the day. The window has been cleaned. Okay, I'm going to extend the nozzle for now. Go for it. Over the top here. Okay, that looks really good. I'm happy with our work. Proud of our work too. It looks really good. Cleaning up the crusty crab, making sure that it's not too crusty. Many parts are still quite dirty. Both of us been cleaned. Up over here, wall plank has been cleaned. I get all the sides here. In that area as well. Um, okay, another plank has been cleaned. What else am I missing? All these areas. I see it there. Oh yeah, all right. Okay, what else? Orange is not clean. It has the top still. Okay. Well, look at that. It looks very clean though. Can we get up there? Ooh, okay. Doesn't that look beautiful? The flag is not clean though, but it calls. I think it's time for a ladder. It's just about time for a ladder. What do you think? Yeah. I think we've done pretty well with the reachable areas. Now where's that ladder that we stepped on earlier? There it is. Let's go pick it up. And we can put it right here. Okay. With that, we're going to climb right up there. So let's continue and climb up this roof and see what we find. Okay, 
All right, we can see all the spots that we definitely missed during our first flag expedition. All right, roof plank cleaned. I love this plank. Should probably extend the nozzle. Places that we didn't see earlier. Or maybe we couldn't get there. Okay, that plank is cleaned. Extend longer. Will that help? Oh, rope cleaned. Okay. Stubby gun. Stubby gun power. Have you ever been on the roof of the Krusty Krab? Have you ever seen it? I don't think I have. It's nice that we get to really explore Bikini Bottom and the structures of Bikini Bottom in this series. Let's swing this area over here. I missed some areas here. Miss too much. Taking it nice and easy, hoping to make it smooth. Wow, look at this. Wow, this is the Krusty Krab, all right. see the back of the flag. Okay. Oh, I don't know where to start first. Um, should I walk on here? Okay. Oh, so much to do. So much to do. It's already been over an hour. But I just want to make sure we get everything. We'll come back to that part. Maybe we can jump on that. What is this, the chimney right Yeah, The chimney after. Okay. We'll be done in no time. We'll be done in no time. The crab is looking good. Really good. Oh. So I didn't finish my recap of the bubble bath story, did I? Now where did I leave off? The toaster. The toaster is where I left off. So Mr. Krabs went to SpongeBob's house and found that. He was still in an emotional kind of ruin. So then, this area then. Yeah, so, I try to help SpongeBob remember how to make a Krabby Patty. And Mr. Krabs was there day and night, day and night. Try to help SpongeBob remember. And after many days, but 
of saying, I can't do it, I can't do it. Then, after many days, Rob said, I can't put together a bun, cheese, lettuce, tomato, patty, whichever order it really is. But he did it. This angle's kind of hard. Okay, we're almost done. We can do it. Should I change the nozzle? I just don't want to fall off. Let's get the main parts done first. Can we walk this way? See all the areas? Oh, the flag area. Okay, we'll get there. Okay, roof plank has been cleaned. Okay. Alright, nice. Okay, I've got to get a spotless Mr. Crab. For the people at Bikini Bottom to comfortably enjoy their burgers. Clean up this weather rain a bit. And get that. Doesn't it look better? So much better. Looks beautiful. Never knew how nice the Crusty Crab looked. It's looking brand new today, I, I'm sure of it. Draw the areas here. This is my favorite nozzle. I just wanted it a little wider earlier. Okay. Get that done. Alright, orange has been clean. Should we try it to attempt to get to this area? Put that at the back of each flag needs to be clean. Oh, I wonder what flags these are and what they represent. Very time flat. Alright. To the next flag, and... Yes, flags are done. Now, which other spot do we need to do? How do we get to the top of this? Sure, we can go around. Let's get this chimney cleaned up. Just don't want to fall off. Maybe we need. A ladder of some sort to reach thoroughly. Maybe I can just jump and clean it up. Is that okay? All right. Chimney has been cleaned. This area is not fully clean yet. All right, that's clean. Where is my missing here? I don't see anything over oh, here. Now cleaned. Anything else? Oh, I'll add it. Wow, I think we're doing a really good job. With this weather vane. Since we're here, oh, I see a lot of dark. Oh, how did I miss that? Embarrassing. We 
us get this. Very nice. Look at that. Next roof plank has been cleaned. Okay, let's go around this weather vane. See more dirt there. That roof plank has been cleaned. Okay, let's go this area as well. Okay, gotta get in between all the cracks. So yeah, just like that. SpongeBob got his groove back. He thought all was lost. That was pretty amazing. Okay, that is cleaned. Okay, do you see the gunk? Let's see more right here. On top here. So there, here. I can see it. I feel like really moving in real life. Okay, maybe we should extend a little bit. I think that would help. Alright, weather well, being has been clean. I think we're doing such a wonderful job. And we have that sign. Can we reach from here? have our longest mouth. Oh, we can reach. Can I get closer? It's the back of the sign. So satisfying. I love this game. I might be switching off from soft spoke into whisper, but it's art, right? But this is technically supposed to be a soft spoken video. I hope I'm doing an okay job for my first time. Okay, the shell is pretty clean. There's always a ladder that we could use. I don't think the jump. It can be reached from this far. This angle. Okay, can we get closer? Oh, we can clean the whole pole too. Nice. Okay, I'm really happy with our work actually. Here. We're a little closer now. Cleaning the crusty crab for SpongeBob and the people of Bikini Bottom. Oh, we fell. Can we reach from here? We can. We can. Oh, wow. That's a big bubble. Almost there. Working on this important side. We might need to use that ladder soon. Okay, just a few more areas around here. Let's see more from the side. Just want to get these areas here that we can reach. Here. 
here. A little bit here. Okay. Okay, let's go for the front. I'm pretty sure there's more here. Oh, yes. Can't miss this area. Almost done with the pole. All right, the pole is complete. What other areas can we reach from here? Ooh. We're almost done with the crusty crab. Done with this side. We can't stop now. We can't. Okay. So I think this area is mostly done. And we'll climb up that ladder very shortly. This is our longest nozzle. We have done our job. Let's climb and see what we can do. Okay, let's see. Where's the side? Okay, we go back up more. Okay, I see a little more there. Maybe use this nozzle. And we'll get up more in just a little bit. Right now, before we climb up even more, I don't want to fall off. Okay, there's a lot more to do here. Let's use a shorter nozzle again so that we'll have a little more control. Okay, I can't even read this sign, it's that dirty. Reach that, okay. Looks a little better. I hope I don't fall off this ladder now. The crusty crab. Oh, each ladder lights up. How nice. The Did I get to say crusty yet? Crusty crab. Nice. Okay, that looks good. A little bit in here. There you go. It's dirty. Should I jump in? Woohoo! Okay, we made it. Let's use the short nozzle since we're right here. Okay, just a little more. Wow. Look at the view. Looks so nice. We definitely don't get this view from the show. Only here can we walk through Bikini Bottom. Well, I know there are other SpongeBob games, but you know, you'll be do you'll be busy doing other things. All right, let's get these areas done. Should I get a bigger nozzle? Okay. I want to fall off again. I'm gonna fall off this little 
was possible. Edges are getting clean. So satisfying. We're going around. Okay. Look at that. Ooh. That is dirty. Let's extend the nozzle. Get the sign clean. Oh, it is clean. Now about this area. Quite a bit, a bit more to do here. The sign is clean now. Ready with the lacrosse crab? I think we did it. Now the other percentage is from the chum bucket, which we will definitely get to next episode, but let's admire our work. We're done. Look at that. We did it. The crusty crab is all cleaned. Wow. Even the dumpster is clean. Quite a job, but it was no match for us. Now we can see everything the enter sign and the sign that says the crusty crab. If you found it relaxing, please support the channel by liking and subscribing. It really means